Hello, chat. Hello, we could hear you the whole time. You didn't blow out your mic or anything. Look at his new haircut. Look at that. Doesn't he look handsome? I got my ears lowered. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. I got ears. <laughs> <laughs> and a face. And a, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> It Northern was... Light says you're looking so stylish. Uh oh, you had ears installed. That. Does that mean you have to listen to me now? Oh, this is bull crap. This was <laughs> mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I love it. I Did love it. Well, hello the, everyone. Um... We don't have a guest tonight, but we haven't done a February update. So we thought we should just do that. And because it is still February and we didn't do a January one. I'm sorry, man. We have been traveling. And we did crazy. what we got back to. We were at Superstars writing seminar, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. like the first week of February. And then uh, I got COVID. Right. So I was very sick. So basically missed two weeks out of this month, too. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot was... of work to do, man. A lot of catch up. And it's awesome because we have so much going on. It's so incredibly exciting. So we're we're so glad y'all are here to catch these updates up dates and see what's updates. going on um i mean updates yeah. is full it, it's fine updates is cool what's fine what's cool updates updates are cool i like the updates um we've just been busy on sundays because we're always somewhere like where were we this sunday we were up in conroe uh at big top entertainment um it was a lot of fun uh the weather was absolutely primo it couldn't we could not have asked for no that's not entirely true we could have had slightly less of a breeze on sunday true because it got a little crazy slight. with the tent yeah. right it was it was a little touch and go but it wasn't bad uh there were just a few moments when it was like okay hold the tent down make sure it's cool aside from that uh it was it was fantastic uh super great and i need to push buttons because like, where's our mod things. that's right that's right come on now uh that should have gone away now all right um words and things hopefully that went away uh okay it did cool um so yeah the beautiful weather great vendors um unfortunately we had a a, a booth next to us that had pickled everything um which was kind of awesome and kind of terrible uh so so we it was wonderful we only stuff. bought three jars we did good we, we did good we did really good all things considered uh we did have to get the freeze-dried candy because holy crap y'all if you ever get the opportunity find the freeze-dried candy it's totally weird totally it's cool so weird. it's like a whole new spin on all your favorite candies it's um, so weird I, I'm not even I, sure if I'm a fan, but if you've not tried it, I try know. it anyways, just because it's so to. weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. But super cool. Try it. Oh, it, it definitely... is sweet, Northern Lights, for sure. Oh, yeah. Super sweet. But it's no sweeter than the candy. They don't add any sugar. Right. Yeah. So. But it changes the whole experience, which is really experience, cool. Experience, yeah. Um, yep. So that was fun. Uh, what else? That was about it. Uh, food, yeah. random foods. You mm -hmm. had uh, fries with stuff on it and corn with stuff on it and juice with stuff on it on Sunday. I hooked you up with all the stuff on it. I like food with stuff on it. Right. It's it's kind of... Layer your, my your food, deal. that'd be great. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, the freeze-dried Skittles, right? Those are the first ones we tried, too. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy does them. They were crunchier. I liked it better the first time we had them because it was more like mm -hmm. sweet popcorn. Yeah. Um, this one's a little crunchier. You still get a little chew from that. But we did. We tried uh, butterscotch. Those butterscotch candies. I quite like those. Um, fruit roll-ups. That was weird. It was so weird. Like they were still rolled up. I'm like, they took the wax off, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You're like, eh. they did. They did. Or it's edible. I don't know which. Um, but yeah, it was fascinating. Northern, hundred percent. I am also typically a salty snacker. I am now Absolutely. too in my old age. Chippies, uh, goldfish, pretzels. I mean, all the all the good stuff. That 100%. being said, I got a I got a bowl of Skittles 
here on my desk at the moment. So. Oh, we're not doing the update upstairs. I can't steal your candy. So I know. The favorite part about doing the See? update is stealing your candy. That's I right. have I right candy. Here. You can't have it. <laughs> I mean, I do know how to get upstairs. This is knowledge that I have. Are you sure? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I also have the knowledge of how to avoid it. Um, but That's I do know, uh, mm-hmm. of, you mm-hmm. know where the mm-hmm. stairs are. You could are. if you really wanted to. I could. I could. But, if you had chocolate um, up there. I don't have any chocolate. Sorry. No, but, no. yes. Anyway, so the whole point of that is um, we're doing a whole bunch more events, tons yes, of them. So we're doing we at have, least one every single month. Yes, one a month, which is going to be awesome. Uh, most of them are, are in the general, you know, within several to many hours of, of Houston um, because it just makes it easier for us. Uh, so as we uh, as, as we continue to do this, uh, join our newsletter. Um, you can sign up at cursedragonship.com. Uh, find the little newsletter link, and not only will you get a free book, uh, but you will find out where we're going to be, and you can come see us. Because if you don't come see us, guess what? You can't get the trading cards. You Look have cool to are. come see us Look, or zero. one of the misplaced adventures authors to get trading cards, like in person, like for really real. And even though we are just in the Houston area, like Kevin Petway was at an event um, this weekend in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, William's on the East Coast for Chromium Rise. Um, Chelsea is in Austin. Like, the authors are all over the place, right? Um, Jessica's with us, so people got to get her book here um, in the Houston area. So, look, no matter where you are, you should – there will be some authors there. Look at that. And if these are really, really popular, I love Arvin. This is this is from Chromium Rise, this main character in Chromium Rise. Um, if you are, if these are popular and you really like them, then we're going to do them for like lots of the series. Because I mean, heaven knows we're full of characters. Maybe oh, we should yeah. do them for the authors too. <laughs> Our authors are also characters. That actually would be funny. <laughs> we're gonna have to make some some fun ones for the authors we'll have you know a nice professional one and then we'll have some limited edition ones no we'll have fun ones but they're not allowed to fill out the statistics on the back we have to have someone else do it for them oh no way more no no no, no, no. of course not yeah no no they're not allowed to yeah no Mm -hmm. no um i love it that's awesome so So, very cool we We gave a lot of those away this weekend it was lots of fun we did we did Mm -hmm. And next adventures, we have the cover reveal is coming for Murder on the Interstellar Express. Uh, it's the first in the Bell Begrudgingly Solves It series by Gregory D. Uh, Gregory D. Little. I know Northern has been so excited to get this arc. Um, wait until you see the cover. The art, we had custom made art for it. It's stunning. Hi, Jen. And Greg, oop, oop. When is the cover? It is coming up. Um, I mean, I wanted to do it this Sunday, but we'll see. Right. So you're just going to have to keep track of it. Cause I didn't know vacations, what was happening. Um, uh, but Lena is finished. The art is done. Um, Lena Shore, our amazing, amazing, uh, graphic designer. That is all like, she designed these. She didn't do all the art for them, but she designed them. She designed our oh, logo. Yeah, yeah. She's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, she designed the misplaced adventures logo. She's amazing. And so she is doing, she's putting together Greg's cover. So it all looks amazing with the incredible art we had done. Um, Lena is fantastic, Jen. I think Lena did Jen's um, author logo. I need her to I do mine. I need an author. I always do the company. I forget about me. I got to get an author logo. Um, so, yeah, all of these things are incredible. She's author talented. Logo, so she's author. getting it done. So as soon as she does, we're going to get that um, up. So make sure you uh, pay attention to this channel. Again, join our newsletter. If you go to the website, cursedragonship.com, um, just wait a second. It'll like pop up after like a minute or something like that. I didn't want it to pop up as soon as you logged on because that drives me batty. But, um, you know, if you see a page or two, then uh, it goes up there. Um, Greg can't wait to see it. Me neither, Greg. I'm so excited. Um so let's see. So this one, um, we're really looking forward to this one. This one is a murder mystery in space with a detective who doesn't want to do any sort of work, let alone solve a murder. Uh, when she ends up being the main suspect, Belle is left with little choice. As is required for a Greg Little novel, there are some doozy twists and turns. Uh, twists what's different about this novel, though, Greg? is the humor. Belle uses humor as a shell to protect her gooey center, which is 
ironic because there's nothing gooey left on the inside because she's all machine. I mean, are you fascinated yet? Come on now. So I come to the like, cover reveal. You're going to want to see that. So I feel pay like attention to be, this space. What, Seifo? I feel like Belle would be very annoyed at your uh, suggestion that she has a gooey center. Uh, yes. Yes, she probably would. Yeah. Um, and she'd probably make some kind of dirty joke and we'd all laugh. And uh, yeah, but you can't fool an editor. I see her gooey center. <laughs> so Greg, Greg says, "Oh my God, yes, Greg's hilarious too. You got to see. He's like, you know, she's telling me right now. I'm like, right. I don't know, Greg. I think you have some secret personality you're trying to hide in this Bell character. Yeah, she is raging right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, and we have misplaced adventures news, Zafo. Oh, uh, Misplaced Adventures. Uh, so one of obviously my favorite titles, uh, Beer for My Corpses, uh, the fifth first book, the fifth first, I, I, I that's know. a lot of numbers. Anyway, book one, the fifth book one in the expanded universe is, is releasing on Tuesday, March 12th. So very, very soon. It's real. You can see it right there. Um, yeah. Covering up Kelly, book. which is, you know, a preferred. Thing. preferred. Um, yeah, well, they're here to not uh, look at me to read books. Well, yeah, the books are the important part. That's why they're flying around behind me. Um, so <laughs> those covers, we can't wait. Though, sorry. Well, sure. They're just, you know, nice and, and, and generic and, you know, Leather. Who who can hate on a leather bound book? Come on. I didn't hate it. I just said the covers are bad. <laughs> um. All right. So we can't wait for you to meet Pickle, a fake a ooh, a fake swamp witch, and Eddie, a milkmaid. Uh, turned barmaid. Uh, so, so they, they run, run Pickle's pocket. pocket. It's, it's in, in the middle of the Roderick swamp. swamp. Uh, which is, it, 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 I love that, the Roddering Swamp. It's like rotting, but also like Rotterdam. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, you know... So you're reading too much into it? Yeah. Keep going. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, so when Pickett's last act quits and the lone shark who holds the deed of the bar de demands immediate repayment, Pick has to get creative to earn an audience and enough gold to keep afloat. Anyone who's ever run a business is uh, familiar with this predicament. We need uh, to act. So... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when dead things start crawling out of the swamp, Pickett must keep those few customers she has safe while trying to save the crumbling walls. The only place she could call hers, the place where Eddie is safe. It's a quick, intense read, and we're super excited to get it in your hands. Hear what you think about it. Leave reviews is the best gift you can give your author. March 12th, baby. March 12th, right here. And the tech will be perfect then. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it'll be perfect. Um, hey, Jen says you're awesome, Zayphone. I love appreciate all your hard that, work. Jen. See. Um, let's see. And we have introduced our final author in the Misplaced Adventures universe, Ethan A. Ba -ba -ba. Cooper. And the cover reveal for uh, this edition to the lore. All hail the king. Look, I can't read either, apparently. So I'm making fun of you, and I also can't do it. All See? hail the kin is right around the corner. So check out his full interview on our website. Um, he had some great questions. So I, I loved oh, yeah. his answers. So make sure to keep mm -hmm. that out. It's a top blog again, just cursedragonship.com. Um, watch this page or join our newsletter to get all the deets. Um, and don't forget, you can meet all of the characters in the expanded universe with Last Night at the Jolly Chicken. So that one's up. Uh, the ebook's four ninety nine for heaven's sakes. So if you just want to get up and grab these stories real quick, um, Jen's on right now. Her story is in there introducing her characters. I think I've got Makoa right here as one of her characters. Um, so that is all in there. Could you even see that around my fat fingers? There you go. Um, talk about attitude. I mean, Makoa and Belle would get along. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but but Makoa does not have a soft gooey center, even though she's flesh and blood. No, there's no soft gooey to her. No. And Greg, Greg is absolutely right. right. Ethan is a riot. Uh, if you want to hang out and chat with all the authors of the mm -hmm. awesome 
uh, CDS books. Uh, join our Discord. Christianship.com uh, slash Discord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jen Bear says that for M- for Makoa, the ocean is her soft gooey skin. Okay. So, and the ocean yeah. will kill you. So there you go. So it 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 tracks. It tracks. Um so uh so again pay attention. Um it should the cover reveal should be right after um the launch on March twelfth of this book. But um between superstars and being sick, I'm a little behind. So um just uh we're doing the best we can to catch up. We're this close, so we're almost there. Um awesome. So how about romanticy, Zafo? I know you love well, a little romanticy, right? I mean, I am the romantic here. I'm just saying. You are. He he actually is. He's the one who always remembers our anniversary. <laughs> it's not wrong. You think we're joking? We're we're not. <laughs> um. So book two in the Brad Eye series releases on Tuesday, March 26th. So it's coming up real, real fast. So if you have been putting off reading Touch of Fate. Do so so that you are ready for burden of fate. So you get touched and then you get burdened. I mean, well, you get good. corrupted uh, in the next one. Will. So, so the relationship between Titus and, and Ryan, right? You got it. Okay. Awesome. Ryan heats up even as the dangers of their two worlds collide and threaten to dismantle the entire system. Uh, for anyone who missed book one, touch of fate, and want to catch up for book two releases, the ebook will be on sale for 99 cents from March 20th to March 26th. So you have an opportunity. So get in there, get that book for 99 cents, and read it and pick up Burden of Fate. Uh, pre-order is up right now. There yep, you go. pre-order is up right now. Um. Beer's up for beer for my oh. corpses too, yeah. and um, finally, like that's all I wrote down. I'm like, but there's so much more because we've got excitement coming up in April. So April, we yep. have a brand new series coming to you, November's Dawn. Um, look, it's so new. I only have the the pre order up. That's with this one too, or the not for resale. This is the proof copy. So I make sure I didn't put my name in it. If y'all don't know what that means, it's inside joke. So, if you know, um, you know. but this one's coming up. If you know, you know. It November's Dawn. Um, it's CT. Um. Mosaga, and he is, um, this is a YA dystopian. So the uh, climate change has ruined the world, which everyone who has um, record highs today, I mean, how many people had record highs today? Bunch of people. So yeah, this is part of the whole thing. Um, So this is the seas have kind of taken over. So in order to survive land, it couldn't really live on land so they've gone into a kind of a submarine city called november's dawn and they are living on the bottom of the ocean so it's a whole thing going on but i mean everything's fine wait, right wait, wait, everything's wait. great i have a question yes is, is there, there a lobster, lobster conducting a band no 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 oh. mermaids in this story darn sorry Go um, but uh, it's a it's technical a technological dystopian. It's a lot of fun. Iris is or nope, Iris is the other dystopian. Do you see how I did that? Um, <laughs> but the uh, now we're I just want to call Josie. <laughs> Josie, <sighs> Josie, uh, Josie Owens is uh, the main character in this, and her father has died, but she, he left her a secret, and the secret is uh, how to save their civilization because um. You know how people, they get comfortable in something and they forget and they think everything's going to be fine. And then um, everything's about to explode, but they don't want to see it, you know, kind of like climate change. Um, And so this one, she has to convince people there is a problem before she can even offer the solution to solve it. So it's it's really, really fun ride. Um, And of course, there's a love interest in there. And there is a lot of uh, fun back and forth on this one. So I really, really think you'll enjoy it. It is his debut novel, and we're excited for that one. And that's in April. And also in April, we have The Harmony Parasite. So this one is book three in Mutagen Mutagen Deception. So this one is also in April. Um, 
And and both of these books are up for pre-order now, by the way. So if you just wanted to go now, you can make sure to get them now. It's CurseDragonship.com, November's Dawn, and CurseDragonship.com, The Harmony Parasite. So if you go to there, you can get your copy now. And um, for everyone who's been reading The Mutagen Deception, you know I can't really tell you very much about this book. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because hashtag, hashtag spoilers. spoilers. Because like we said earlier with the Greg Little book, um, stuff happens that are big surprises. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Jen and Northern Lights. There are so many books. I have so many more I want to talk about. But I'm like, I will only talk about the ones I physically can hold in my hand. So I pretty much did that except for the two cover reveals. So I think I succeeded because there's so much more. I'm proofreading one right now. And that's so exciting. Root and Bones cover just came out. Uh, we just did a cover oh, reveal. Man. That one is fantastic. Um, I ju- there, there are so many amazing books we have this year. So we have more sci-fi coming, more horror coming. So it's just, we've got all the books, man. If you like to read and you like something more fantastical, we, we've got you covered. 